It's me. Hi. I'm the problem, it's me. If you can hear the leaf blowers outside, I sincerely apologize. They've been blowing leaves for about an hour now, and we just have to move on with our regularly planned schedule. Your girl's been gone, I'm the problem, but I'm back, and I'm really excited to be here with you, and I had so many video ideas for this week, but I finally stumbled upon creating the perfect blowout. Why, you ask? Because genuinely, I am, I am bored with my hair a little bit right now. I think I'm just kind of like tired of doing the same thing every single day. I truly love my waves and curls more than I can express. They make me feel beautiful, unique, confident, all that jazz, but life's too short to wear hair the same way every single day, so I'm switching it up. We're we're gonna head to Ulta together. I just got out of the shower, my hair is wet. Um, I'm probably gonna have to wet it again when I get back. That really wasn't the best schedule of order, order of schedule schedule of planned things. We're gonna head to Ulta. I'm gonna get some old school hot rollers that I used to use because I truly believe that it is one of the cheapest, best ways to get a really nice blowout. Let's head to Ulta together and create the beautiful blowout. I am gonna introduce you to my new dog if you haven't met her already, okay? Okay. Wednesday is the newest addition to the Martinez household. We have yet another poodle. She is, of course, a rescue from Carolina Poodle Rescue and she is literally an angel on earth. She's in sleep mode, so I'm gonna let her sleep and let's head to Ulta. I have secured the goods. They, they, they asked me not to film in Ulta and I was like, oh, okay, so. Anywho, <laughs> um, these are the ones that I had growing up. These are the Baby Bliss Pro. These are like old school, but they work, you know? Sometimes you just gotta stick with the classics, my friends. First and foremost, when it comes to a blowout for wavy, curly, coily, even straight hair, you want to protect your hair, okay? Even if it's just one time for that one event, we're going to protect our hair. I'm gonna jump in with some of my favorite protection products. The first one is Colorwell's Dream Cocktail. This is the breakage formulation. This one is great if you have color treated hair, but I do personally prefer the thickening one. I just can't find it. But that one does magically make your hair look thicker. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it does. I just redampened my hair a little bit. I don't recommend your hair be soaking wet when you go to blow dry it. It just takes an eternity and honestly it doesn't matter, especially because we're gonna go back in with our hot rollers. I'm gonna take this Colorwell breakage treatment and just run it through the hair. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Also fun fact, um, when I was on Accutane, my hair got really thick, I think because of all of the uh, vitamin. Some people have the experience of losing hair going on Accutane. I had the experience of gaining more hair and now sadly I am losing hair and I think I'm praying that it's just going back to its original state and that it's not going to get thin. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to start adding some vitamins into my routine to be sure that I don't lose all my hair. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Next, we're gonna jump in with IGK's Good Behavior line. Two of the products from their line. This is one of the best lines if you blow dry your hair a lot. I can't recommend it enough. So it's a detangler, 24 hour frizz control, 450 degree heat protection, and it adds shine. This product is pricey, but it lasts forever for me because I don't blow dry my hair often. I'll link it in the description box. It's one of those things that truly does make a difference, especially on the third, fourth, fifth day. I love it. Last but not least, I'm gonna use IGK's Good Behavior. Again, this is the Spirulina Protein Smoothing Treatment. I've actually worked with IGK on this line before. This isn't sponsored, but it's really that good. Um, so this one you just spray all over. This is sulfate and paraben free, but it does have silicones, just as a heads up. This is a heat activated spray that mimics the smoothing and anti-frizz results of a keratin treatment. So as we blow dry it, these ingredients will become activated and it will create that blowout keratin effect. We're jumping in with our knockoff Dyson. This is the Revlon and it is fantastic. Truly, I love it. I got it for like, I don't know, like $40 at Bed Bath & Beyond. I'll link it down below. It is fantastic. You will see the results and I will sell you on this product. Um, I will have the link in my bio, by the way. It is a really great, lovely like Christmas present, holiday gift. The red one is the pro version, but it's basically the same thing as the OG pink one. I cannot use a round brush and a blow dryer at the same time to save my life. This is a two-in-one baby. So this is essentially a brush with a blow dryer. I feel like we all know this. It is magic and the only way I can get a great blowout. I achieved a blowout this time 
and this time using this bad boy alone, but I wanna add a little bit more bounce, a little more body, so we're gonna go in with the hot rollers after. I'm not a professional hairstylist, and you don't have to be either with this tool, okay? The biggest key for this stage in the game is just getting our hair dry, getting it as smooth as possible. A lot of that work is done, honestly, with the IGK spray. If you are lazy like me, this will help you a lot, um, or if you're just not very talented at doing your hair. And then the other thing is this step is key for volume. Okay, so I like to when I'm drying my hair, I like to blow it from the back up and back, right? So we're creating that lift all throughout the hair. So we're not like pushing it down, 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 down. No, 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 no. We're going from behind and we're brushing and blowing it up and out. That is my key to a bouncy blowout. So in this step, what are we working on? We're working on volume. We're working on drying. We're working on smooth and sleek. Last tip and trick I wanna give is really focusing on the roots to the mid hair shaft. Don't give quite as much attention to the ends. The ends of your hair usually dry the fastest. As you can see, my ends are already dry, but my roots are soaking wet. So I like to really focus on the roots and not put as much heat on the ends because the ends are typically the most damaged part of your hair because obviously it's been there the longest. And I personally do the medium heat. Let's do it. I think you can see I was able to get a really nice amount of lift in the hair. And this is before we even get in our rollers and really lift them. The hair is silky smooth and will become even shinier and healthy looking after we pop in the hot rollers. I feel like Johnny Bravo. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, look at that lift, baby. All right, so we're going to get back to work and then we'll jump in with our hot rollers. I feel like people make the blow up so complicated and it really just doesn't need to be. I'm not amazing at doing my hair with hot tools and you don't have to be to get this to look really good and like you literally got an expensive blowout. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Team, the hair is dry. It's volumized to the max. We've got that 90s volume happening. It actually looks pretty healthy and shiny. I don't know if I told you guys recently, I cut off about three inches of hair when it's like straight. So it kind of feels a little more like four when it's curly, um, but it looks really good and healthy and I'm really happy. Sure, um, we've got our Baby Bliss Pro. And I like to start by sectioning the hair, cut that bad boy in half. If you have three times the hair as me, <laughs> then you can go for like three or four sections. And if your hair is on the thinner side, honestly, I still recommend cutting your hair in half. All right, so we're gonna start with the bottom and I'm just gonna brush it out to be sure that we are good to go. And I like to start with the bigger rollers for the bottom and then they slowly get smaller as we work our way to the top. Obviously the bigger the roller, the more hair you can use, uh, but I recommend starting at the bottom, wrapping that bad boy around and just rolling it up to the top as smooth as you can get it. And then you simply take the clip, the straight part goes on top Get it as tight as you can so that it's not falling out. Bada bing, bada boom. This doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little bit messy. Um, that's okay. I do recommend alternating directions. In my opinion, it gives a bouncier, more 90s look. Or if you want to stick to 90s, go just where they're all rolling in. Because the 90s very much so has that like, you know, you know the pictures. You know what I'm talking about. Or if you want more of like Farrah Fawcett vibes, which I think is the 80s. <laughs> I'm not even sure. Um, I would recommend doing the flip out and rolling the rollers the other way. I am actually gonna roll my hair in three sections and I'd say I have a medium amount of hair. Actually, what my hairstylist tells me is that I have a lot of hair so I have a high density of hair, but the hair itself is thin. So I don't have coarse hair. I more so have a lot of thick hair. Excuse me, a lot of thin hair. <laughs> so for these, I'm gonna roll them in the opposite direction. I have a question for you guys, just because I'm curious, like obviously you're on YouTube, you're watching this and it's long form content. I'm just curious if you find yourself watching are gravitating towards the TikToks, the YouTube shorts that are, you know, the 10 second long footage or 
are you enjoying still sitting and watching people talk to you like a real person and really connecting with you and all that jazz? Me personally, I'm a diehard long content person. If I want to just like totally zone out and not think of anything, I've been finding myself watching TikToks because it feels mindless. I don't feel connected to the person. It's just like, I don't know. It doesn't feel very community oriented. Whereas YouTube to me feels so like personal and like I know the people I follow, you know? And like I feel like I know their audience. Like it, it, it has very much so that communal feeling that I personally really love. I would love if you wouldn't mind commenting and sharing your opinion because I'm just trying to get a feel for like, just to be totally straightforward with you. <laughs> if I should switch to TikTok. Um, not because that's what I want, rest assured but I'm just worried that that's the direction content is going in, I guess. I would love y'all's perspective. Ow, it's hot. Lord have mercy, be careful with your fingy things. <laughs> be careful with your fingies. We've got all of our bad boys in, and now I'm just going to let them sit in my hair for about 20, 30 minutes. You wanna let the hair cool down completely. So if you feel any warmth to the touch, it's not ready. You wanna wait until it's just room temperature and then you know that you're done. Science time. So the science behind this is simple. When the heat is applied, it kind of allows the hair to shape shift. <laughs> it allows the hair to change shape and then when it cools down, it will then stay in that place, right? So if your hair was still really hot, we let the roller down, kind of pulled on it, then it's going to dry very stretched out. Whereas if you want to stay nice and bouncy and full of life for days, then you want to let it cool fully before taking them out. When taking out the rollers, I do like to be kind of gentle when I take them out and like roll them around. I don't know if it helps, but in my head, it makes a world of difference. <laughs> like I said at the beginning, I really do genuinely love my natural hair texture, but I just get bored and it's fun to switch it up. As we discussed, not to be negative, but I'm just tired of the curly hair community making me feel guilty for changing my hair up. Like it's, it's really just not that serious. Don't be alarmed, your hair is gonna look short at first, but we're gonna pull and poke and prod and volumize and do all the things to give it length while still being that pretty polished curl. Look at the bounce, baby. Look at the bounce. Okay, next. We're gonna grab a brush and we're gonna brush this bad boy out, okay? We're going to help kind of get some of that length back and it's gonna make it not quite as curly, but more so just voluminized. It's a couple hours later, I changed because this hair needed this. It needed the Carrie Bradshaw moment. Um, and I added a little bit of eyeliner and mascara because once again, Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> I have to do my queen right. I am so happy with how this hair turned out. It is so bouncy, so full, so healthy looking. If you wanna add a little bit of oil, I really like the JVN oil. It's Jonathan Van Ness's line. They're called Nourishing Shine Drops, and I actually just use too many. You really don't wanna use a lot because they really do go a long way. And I like to primarily focus this on the ends. Mochi, <laughs> Mochi clearly likes the way they smell. Another great shine spray is the Wee Dodd Revive and Shine Rejuvenating Dry Oil Mist. It is positively lovely. On day two, day three, day four hair, whatever you struggle with, I recommend going in with either the oil or a shine mist, predominantly from the mid hair shaft down, and then dry shampoo on the roots to help keep that volume while also maintaining the shine for days to come. I hope this video was helpful. I am not a professional hairdresser. In fact, I'm really not great at doing hot tool hair <laughs> situation. But I personally feel like this looks like a dry bar blowout. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it does look fabulous if I do say so myself. <laughs> if you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. And let me know your thoughts on straining, curling, blow drying your hair out from time to time. I'd love to hear your perspective if you are a part of the wavy curly community. Okay, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's video. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.